So the first question is, have you always lived in Augusta? No. So where, how did you end up in Augusta? Um, for work and family. Being near, yeah. yeah. Um, where did you live like before that? You said a little bit earlier. I have a lot. Mm -hmm. um, do you want me to start um, and give you every place? I can do that. Uh, if you want to, go ahead. Okay. So, um, Newfoundland, Canada. Mm -hmm. Norfolk, Virginia, Midway Island, Monterey, California, Memphis, Tennessee, Greensboro, North Carolina, Eagle River, Alaska, Palmer, Alaska, Roanoke, Virginia, Leesburg, Virginia, Castle Rock, Colorado, Sacramento, California, Charleston, South Carolina, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, Nashville, Tennessee, High Point, North Carolina, and Augusta, Georgia. Nice. All over the place. I love it. <laughs> um, so that is super awesome that you've been to all over the country already. Um, for me, I've only lived in Augusta my whole life, so um, well, technically now I'm in Tipton for college, but still it's just been in Augusta. Mm -hmm. um, so right now I live in um, our family home, which is like a two-story building, um, single family lives in it. Could you tell me what kind of home you live in now? I live in a multifamily apartment. Okay. Um, so now we're going to get into a little more of the solar questions. Um, have you ever invested in solar, either rooftop for your home or your property, as a or as part of your business or as part of a program through your unit? No. Why do you not have rooftop solar? Is it just... Um, right now it's because I don't own my own home. Mm -hmm. um, before it wasn't offered where I was. Um, and I wasn't sure about the expense, uh, the initial outlet of the expense. So if it was offered, would that have been something that was more, you think, useful than... Yes. Right. So would you, if available, um, want solar? Tell me why you would or would not. I just answered that one. Jumped ahead of myself. That's okay. Um, so if it was offered, the I would not... Uh, I know that it's expensive, or it's, I believe it's expensive um, in the front end of it. Um, in the back end of it, I know it'll save. Plus, I'm about, you know, with these things that are going on in this world, I really would like to do whatever I can in order to, to help the environment. There's like four different things right there on that list, and it always throws me off every single time I look <laughs> it's okay. at it. Um, I'll let you talk a little bit about rooftop solar in general. Um, so I'm going to show you this map of the United States. Okay. If I was to ask you where do you think people adopt or invest solar, could you circle or draw X where you think that would most likely be in the U.S.? Where I think other people would, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be based on um, where I think there's enough light, but where the general population would do it. So I'm gonna because it's talking more about like rooftop solar and not right. like solar farms or anything like right, that. Right, so. absolutely. Yeah, I'm just thinking of the the type of people mm -hmm. who might do it. Um, I'm gonna. I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere around here. Am I even getting close? <laughs> well, it's not right or wrong answer. Oh, okay. It's just where I would where think. You think. Yeah. And I think it's maybe some up. Here. That's not a lot right there, but. <laughs> Probably, well, yeah, okay. I think that's it. So what do you think makes those areas different from people in, um, 
say Augusta? Um, I think they're probably more concerned about um, the environment and yeah. Um, what kind of people do you think live in those communities? I don't know if I want to say this. <laughs> um, probably thirty-ish. Um, educated. Um, more liberal. Um, why do you think people here have the most? Those areas have the most solar on rooftops. Um, I don't think. I think some people are more concerned with the way it looks on their house. Um, I think a lot of the HOAs, um, your homeowners association, don't allow it um, because on the front of a house it's not very aesthetically pleasing. That's pretty much my, what I'm guessing. I found it really interesting, just a little side note of it. When we went to Hawaii on vacation the other week, they were all over like the rooftops there, and that was just common for them. I was well, like, and I thought about that too because I was thinking about both of those, and I'm like, well, I don't know. Have you seen most of them, like in places that you live? Have you seen any rooftop solars? Um, I've actually seen one here, and my sister did it because she used to live in Riverwood, and they actually put some on her roof. But because of Tony, that's kind of where I got that idea. Um, the homeowner association wouldn't let her put it on the front, mm -hmm. so she had to put it on the back. And even though she didn't get as much sun back there, but um, yeah, and I could see a, a lot of um, Alaska, doing, especially in the in the summertime. Um, plus, it's not as important, you know. They're outside of their home. What? So, yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about Georgia for a second. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing. Um, in what communities do you think people adopt solar with the most? Um, I'm going to get... Can I write on this Yeah, one? go ahead and okay. write on this um, Do the same thing, circle or mark okay. or whatever. I'm going to actually guess that it's somewhere... You know what, there's, I'm thinking about the, I gotta get rid of the solar farms because I gotta think about individual um, homes. But I'm gonna say it's somewhere around there. I'm probably completely wrong, so. There's no right answer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't even know the technical right answers to where they are. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's some, like, right around. And actually, because this is on the border, so I don't think where that comes up. There we go. So, what makes those communities different from Augusta? Probably the demographics. So, why do you think people um, in Augusta have the most, or sorry, let me rephrase that. Why do you think people in those areas have the most solar um, rooftops? Part of it is um, sun exposure and they're maybe more knowledgeable about the benefits of it. Um, okay, so that's all with the maps for now. Okay. So, um, what about most of your close friends in Georgia? Do they have solar on their rooftops at their houses? They do not. Um, why do you think they don't? I don't think that they think about it. Uh, it's that's, not in the forefront of their mind. I feel like that's what a lot of people are like. They don't really think solar mm -hmm. when they're building it. We didn't think solar when we were building our house. Right. So. Um, now, if you don't mind, we're going to ask a few questions regarding your role, uh, the role of food in your day-to-day -day life. Okay. So, if you will, tell me about your regular day with food. How does your meals or snacks typically look like? Um... So I'll have maybe a piece of fruit for breakfast. My biggest meal is at lunch. Um, and then I have a snack at dinner. So for me, it's 
kind of don't eat breakfast for some reason. Uh, and then I'll eat lunch out somewhere, and then we normally cook something for dinner. Okay. So, could you tell me what your go-to meal is and why? If I had to cook it myself, I'd stop cooking. Because I'm by myself now. Um... It can be if you were going out to eat somewhere, what your go-to meal would be to. Um, salmon. Yeah. Um, I don't. It doesn't hurt my stomach, but I'm still getting my protein. So, how often do you cook your own meals? Um, once a week. Mhm. Mm I get my um, my lunches at work. Gotcha. I don't ever cook when I'm at school. I'm like, <laughs> nope, it's too much easier to go out and get something. I used to cook all the time, but with my um, not having my family anymore, get out of the habit. So, you're the only person um, in your house, so Correct. you decide um, about your food purchases. Um, how, what are, like, is there... My criterion? Yeah, like what do you do when you decide what to do? Um, I try to get something that's going to last, um, that I can eat right away, and it's not, the portions aren't too large, um, because I know I'll just throw it away, and I don't want to waste the money doing that. So, um, some of it, I... I may spend a little bit more money initially, but I know that I'll eat the entire thing. Um, I try to get it fresher because I can't, I have um, some medical issues, so I can't have a lot of preserve, preservatives um, in my diet. So I try to get as fresh as possible. So how often do you purchase food for your household? I know I can't touch yeah, on that. I know. Um, I probably, let's say once a week, um, I'll purchase, and then I'll do my major shopping probably every other week when paid, my mom get paid. <laughs> <laughs> so, paint this picture for me. Let's say you're taking a trip to purchase food. What does that look like for you? I... I do take recycle bags, um, and I usually use a small basket because I know I'm not going to get a lot. Um, and I will start, I actually start to the right in the grocery store, uh, which most people do. I don't do a lot of frozen, but I do do a little bit of frozen. I don't buy a lot of dairy anymore, um, but I try to get at least one uh, protein, so whether it's fish, I don't do a lot of red meat, um, so, but it'll be fish chicken, fish or chicken generally, and get as whatever fruits or vegetables that I know are going to, if are on sale. <laughs> yeah. So when it comes to feeding you, um, what are some challenges you might face? For example, um, I know it's difficult for our family when we're buying stuff because everybody's so picky on what they like to eat. Mm -hmm. So what are some things for you? That are challenges? Yes. Yeah. Um, trying to get something that I can snack on. Um, there again, that aren't, isn't going to cost a lot of money, um, but that I can still fit into my diet, that my lifestyle diet, not my, I'm not trying to lose weight, obviously, mm -hmm. but um, my medical diet, which is really challenging.